here we are going to talk about accessibility under the cab, a couple major components, and the ease of maintenance on this machine. So we're going to start, I'm going to rock up to this big side panel here. Open it up and we are going to apply this green button and the up arrow. And the whole cab assembly lifts forward. No jacking, no picking up and pulling on it like a skid steer. Well, that allows you pretty good access under the cab. Let me show you what's under here. There's a safety rod. We won't mind that right now. But here is your turbo clutch housing. That is run off the back of your gearbox. This, for lack of better terms, houses a torque converter with a heat set plug in it that acts as a fusible link if you stall the head too long. But there's a standard drive shaft. Goes out to the front. And that's where the attachment hooks up on the other side. This nice little ring here is something that you can't usually have on a hydraulic machine, but that's a that's a pickup ring. So you can have a tachometer to know how fast your operation is running. You do have a hydraulic valve block there for some functions and a little bit of wiring. But in the grand scheme of things, it's pretty basic underneath the cab. Now you see that little bit of debris right there. Not much, very minimal. Some of it's accumulated dust that's turned into dirt piles. But this machine has got roughly 30 hours on it, no clean out underneath here. So you can see the amount of stuff that it actually collects. Not very much. And that's all it takes.